Live from historic Shy Park in Philadelphia. Today is the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Oakland Athletics. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. So the Los Angeles Angels are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Bloom. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with a win today. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go and towing the slab, Frankie Montas. Very dominant his last time out, picked up the win, only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. So just about set now. Here's the shortstop at the play, David Fletcher. Leading off the afternoon for the Angels, the Brooklyn, David Fletcher. The wind of the pitch. To the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lot. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Justin Upton. And he's leading them in runs batted in this season, which tells me this guy is able to slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure. And he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage. You know, a lot of guys, they see runners on base and they get big. They feel like all this pressure, I've got to get these runs in. But somehow he seems to settle into these situations. So watch out when he comes to the plate. No score just getting started, top of the first. Next Whoa, pitch is yeah. inside, and it's a ball to strike. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Slow roller up the middle. On to first, two away here in the top of the first. That in third. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Angels, Anthony Rendon. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Slapped foul. Deal two. Ball one there. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. In the air, center field. Junior makes the catch, and that'll do it. Angels go down one, two, three. Angels nothing. A's coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the first, and now the first baseman, Jonah Bride. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And the first oh, no, offering no is not close. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. The pitch. And there's the strike. The next pitch misses. Two and two. Swing and a miss. 
base, and he struck him out. And that's the first out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically that likes to shoot the ball the other way. Stop. But that time, a little anxious. And Drew. Here's Elvis Andrews. Way inside, and that hit him. Well, definitely a breakdown in his mechanics on that one. He just lost the handle and ended up way off target. Here's Mike Trapp. Wow. First offering misses badly for ball one. Mike Trout, just a special player, a special human, does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. And a pitch. And there's the strike. I think with Mike Trout, when you consider all the awards, the wins above replacement, he's on a trajectory if he stays healthy. But he'll let Andrews goes. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone, and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, that was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. And the one two misses to even the count. One of the unfortunate things is that in this guy's career, particularly early, we just didn't get to see him in the postseason very much. You want to see the best players playing in October. Two outs. That's towards center. Up to in position. And makes the play, and that's out number three. We played an inning. No score. New inning getting started. Now it's going to be Jared Walsh. Leading off to the Angels, the first baseman, Jared Walsh. Montas back to work. Just missed. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Left hand batter waits. Popped up. Andrews makes the play. What away. Batting pitch. The center fielder, number 10, Justin Upton. And here's the veteran outfielder, Justin Upton. Swinging it well in the series so far. He's five for nine. In the air to left center. Junior has a beat on it and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Batting six. The left fielder, Seth Brown. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Seth Brown. off to a great start he's really cruising out there on the mound he's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches that could set him up to go deep into this game next offering misses and one and one second inning here no score bounced up the middle Andrews handles the chance throws the first Angels retired one two three and the Angels are gone in order We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Rich Shy Park, and now the center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense. You think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. 
the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. With Junior, probably one of the sweetest swings we have ever seen, and certainly as signature a swing as any player has ever had. Next offering is in for a strike. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. There's Jen Lau. Up. The designated hitter. Yeah. Lowry. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, but these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. The next offering misses, and the count is one and one. The one one. That misses. Two and one. That one in for a strike. Two and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Junior aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very that hittable exists. pitch. Right the over the part baseman. of the plate, and I know no that days. batter is kicking himself right yeah. now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Here's Tony Kemp. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. No score here in the second. Next offering is in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Ground ball right side. Sends it to Walsh. Two away. The catcher, John Murphy. So here's Murphy now. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. pitch a one out to right Ward as he glides to his left puts the squeeze on that one and that is that one left for Oakland will move to the third with no score well here we go top of the third scoreless game Matt Duffy to lead it off leading off for the Angels the second baseman Matt Montas back to work. Strike one. And now the count is even.
the pitch. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Close, but call the ball. Three and one. In the air, right field. McKinney makes the play, and there's one down. Batting it. The catcher, number 33. Max. Stepping in, Max Stassi. Stassi. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Next pitch has popped up. Right. Pulls it down. Out. Number two. Batting on the right fielder, number three, Taylor Ward. Now it's the right fielder, Taylor Ward. First offering misses the mark. Top of the third, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Over near the wall. He makes the grab, and that'll do it. Angels go quietly there, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here in Philadelphia, and now the right fielder, Billy McKinney. The right fielder, Billy McKinney. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. The wide to kick the pitch. On the ground, right side. Sends it to first. Lead off hitter gone in the third. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage Not done enough. with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Now at the plate, Sheldon Noise. Two for seven in the series so far. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. and Next offering upstairs. Next one off the plate inside, and that's ball three. pitch hey. now it's filled up well don't expect too many more high fastballs it's a good sinker ball pitcher and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone look for them to stay down around the knees to be effective stays alive Down, base is empty. Right through there, got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't now think batting. he was taking First it, thinking there. it might be a cold Jump ball up. or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Driving to the plate now for Oakland, Jonah Bride. And first offering is fouled off. One is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And a one-one. 
no bench off the plate. Ball two. And there's the strike. Two balls, two strikes. Good eye right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Ward gets under it. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. And the A's are gone in order. Still no score. Them don't know me, word to Romy and Naomi. Opinionated, opinions hated, it's all trash. This kid, the greatest. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, David Fletcher. The shortstop, David Fletcher. And a pitch. There's a strike. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Comes up empty oh, on the swing, 0-2 right. oh, now. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Noisy settles under this one. He's got it, and there's one down. Now batting, designated hitter, Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate, grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. In the air, out towards right center. Puts the squeeze on that. And there are two down. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Chop to third, and he grabs it, foul. Kicks and deals. And that one missing low. The Angels hitless so far in the game. Right side. McKinney makes the catch, and that'll do it. Angels held in check, and we are still scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, now the number two hitter, Elvis Andrews. Athletic. Not shortstop. Elvis. Andrews. Here comes the pitch. And that's yeah, outside. That down the line that's a fair ball and it's getting into the corner just inside the line and it's down for a knock safe at second with a leadoff double ripped that one down the line and kept it fair and even when you hit it that far out front you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory and that right there was perfect runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. Part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Runner at second, nobody out. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. 
Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Next pitch is in the dirt. Now one and two. And he grounds one to the right side. Oh, and it hits the base. But there's no play. That's an infield single. Back-to-back -back base hits. And now they've got That's some speed on first. Numbers. So we'll That's see cool. if they try to get him into motion. Yeah. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Ken Griffey Jr. We talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. From the businesses, my queen got a life of his own. Photosynthesis in your synthesis, my statements is potent. I'm gonna keep winning the last. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Next one misses one and one. Two. Well, again, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. And a pitch. And this is inside. Blasted way back there on its way. Gone. A three run rocket. The Athletics score first. It's 3 0. pitch he wanted to hit spent on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient but it paid off here's Lowry now the batter number eight designated hitter Yay. That one's in there on one. Lowry. Oh. Next pitch is downstairs. Kicks and fires. Now one miss. One strike. Line drive, caught! No matter, number five, second baseman, Tony. Yes. Tony Kim, up next for the A's. In there, and it's 0-1. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is fouled back. And the right-hander deals. That one to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batting. Catcher. John Murphy. Here's Sean Murphy. 
Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know if you want to get that first knock out of the way, maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. In there for strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And one and two. And he deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is down low. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is the third out of the inning. Three run shot for Oakland. It's now 3 0. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Leading Jared the Walsh. The, the Halos baseman. in striking Jared. distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. You need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Next pitch is outside. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. And a pitch. That one oh, just out. misses the outside corner, and it's two and two. Back to right. Snags it on the run. And there's one away. Up next for the Angels, the center fielder, Justin Upton. So digging in, Justin Upton. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty deals. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. Well, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just so drops off the table at the last yeah. moment. If he keeps Brown. it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. So here's Brown at the plate. Rounded out his first time up. And he swings and misses, oh, and it's nothing at one. The old one. Too high. Oh. The Angels yet to pick up a hit here. Swings and misses. Count one and and the two. count one and two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And it's a one, two, three inning. And the Angels are gone in order. 
They trail in this one, three nothing. Here at Shy Park, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. The right field. Now, base hits in the series really? for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things and makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Left hand hitter waits. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And the 2 That nope. misses the zone. And that is ball one. Next offering right, down, down low and in, in the dirt. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And down on strikes. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Well, no, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for now that bad. backwards K the right there. Baseman. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. And now it's going to be Sheldon Noise. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there. There's a pitcher, got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance, send it back to the dugout. Next offering upstairs. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, go look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. 2-2 now. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number two. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really no settling in First and reason. getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right oh. now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. So the batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Jonah Bry. First oh, pitch right just misses. Fought off foul. Righty delivers. And a count one and two. Next offering way off the plate. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Wind of the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. And it hits the fence. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Back here in Philadelphia. All right, we go to the top half of inning Leading number six. Angels. So in now for the Angels, Angels Matt, Matt Duffy. Duffy. And here it comes. And yeah, there's a the ball. Off the mark there. 
And now 2-0. Oh. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. The 2-0 -oh is in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. And that's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick three pass. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Stassi. The Halos still looking for their first hit in this one. And a foul ball. Right-hander kicks deals. Up the middle, and it gets through for a hit. Their first of the ball game. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now, Taylor Ward. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. High fly ball out to center field. Junior moving under this one. Makes the catch. And that is a big first out. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, up. just one free pass, he and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. Fletcher up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Runners at first and second with one gone. Line drive. That one ops against the fence. The throws offline. He's safe. It's 3-2. Well, that may end up being an at-bat if we go back to later on when this game is over. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Now it's the DH for the Angels. Brandon Marsh. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Good looking fastball right there. Surprised he didn't take a rip at that. I think he got locked up a little bit. The 1 1. That one finds the corner. And the count, one and two. Runner at second here, one gone. Right side, Bryant gloves it. A flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Now it's Anthony Rendon. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. 
Probably want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good V-load. Fletcher on third with two out. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Here's the 0-2. Just missed. That's a really good take. That's the third. Sends it across the first. Out number three. So they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double as the A's are on top. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning. The batter will be the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. The shortstop, Elvis and good. The right-hander back to work. Ball one there. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Chris Rodriguez getting ready to come in for Joe Madden. Junk getting cranked up as well. Swing at a bouncer. Fletcher handles. Zips it across, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, nice. kill some worms while you're at it. Wow. And now batting, Mike Trout. Good contact guy, good defender. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well look out because the sky's the limit on that potential swing and a ball lifted in the air left field pretty well struck and that one is going to go his 13th home run of the season and they tap one on the board it's 4-2 So many times a sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter. But that time he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through. Now the Angels manager is out of the dugout and he'll make a move to the pen. Noah Syndergaard out of the game. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Chris Rodriguez. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Next to hit, Ken Griffey Jr. This guy with big-time power and an elite defender. First offering, misses the mark. Junior. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. And that one almost got him. Three two now. Full 
Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And there's two gone following the strikeout. The batter, number eight, designated hitter, Jed Lowry. At the plate, Jed Lowry. Three for eight in the series coming in. in there for strike one. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 4-2. Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. So now the angel cleanup Lead hitter, the Jared baseman. Walsh. The first baseman, Jared Walsh. Montas back to work. That one missing inside. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Deolis Guerra getting ready to go. Selman warming up as well. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. Next pitch is outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. This one rip, but foul to the right. Rounds one back up the middle. Andrews throws the first. Walsh retired. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Justin Upton at the plate. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. It's so impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. And a pitch. Nope. And now it's oh. even up. One and one. Out towards right center field. McKinney on the move. Grabs it on the run. Two away. Now batting left fielder Seth Brown. Seth Brown the next to hit for the Angels. First offering and it just misses. drive makes the grab and that's the inner angels go down one two three they trail it here four to two
And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Tony the Kemp. Athletic. The second baseman, Tony Kemp. Yeah. The right hander back to work. Up the middle. Sneaks through. Base head. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just kept it now simple. Back. Played Pepper with the, the middle of the infield and Gone. took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Digging in for Oakland, Sean Murphy. In the air, right side. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's one down. Now batting, right fielder, Billy. Next up for the A's, Mark Billy McKinney. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kemp, the base runner at first with one out. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-handed reliever. Strike two. One ball, two strikes, Kemp. Left-hand batter waits. This one chopped in the ground, but foul. At the belt and fires. On the ground, two ball. Fletcher over to second, on the first, double play. And that's the inning. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Athletics four and the Angels two. Gary on the pitch here, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. You're at Shy Park, and here is Matt Duffy. Leading off of the Angels, the second baseman, Matt Duffy. Comes a pitch. And yeah, that one is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. On the ground to third. Whips it to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. The number 33. And, and now the catcher comes up to him. Max Stassi. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. And that one's in there 0-1. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. Oh, and two now. That smash towards center. Racing makes the catch. And yeah, there's two away. The right fielder, number three, Taylor Ward. Two outs, base is empty. Taylor Ward will hit next. First pitch, just misses.
Next one is off the plate. Ball two. Two outs. Oh, that one upstairs. Strike in there. In for a strike, and it's three and two. Lifted in the air, right center field. McKinney makes the catch, and that'll do it. Angels go quietly there, still down by a count of four to two. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Sheldon Noise. The third baseman, Sheldon Noise. The wind of the pitch. And that one off the outside edge. Next pitch misses way outside. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Up the middle, base hit, off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Yeah, Man, there are a lot of the hits. First baseman. Jonah Bry now at the plate, one for three. First pitch, and he just misses. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next pitch misses, 2 and 0. Oh. And the righty deals. That misses the zone, and it's 3 and 0. Oh. And ball four to a board. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Andrews in the box now. No balls in a strike. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Ball in one now. That one drilled left field. And that ball is gone. A three-run homer, third home run of the season. It's 7-2. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Archie Bradley comes on now. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Number 23, Archie Bradley. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Left fielder, Mike 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The pitch. Ball two. Strike right there. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Swings and fouls one off. The line to kick the pitch. Inside three and two the count. Out to short. Fletcher fires over to first. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. Man, Chris, a jump throw like yeah. that is certainly worthy of the stack cast treatment. Junior. Let's see what the numbers have to say about it. Yeah, these are some favorable numbers, Boo. This is the type of play that showcases his arm strength. He made it look easy, but I promise you, that's not a throw every shortstop can make, especially with that much behind it. And the batter now, Ken Griffey Jr. In there in its own one. Kicks and fires. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Mike Myers up and throwing. Next one in the dirt. Swings and misses two out. Jed Lowry now up next for the A's. The designated hitter, Jed Lowry. In there for strike one. offering is in for a strike well he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole he's gonna have to battle hope he gets a mistake one guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes Miguel Cabrera down and in moved his feet Here's a one-two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. Last chance coming up here for the Angels. Righty reliever out of the pen, Danny Jimenez. And a healthy size lead for him to go to work with. All set to start the ninth in this one. Digging in, David Fletcher. The off the The shortstop, David Fletcher. And the pitch. That one fouled off. Riding to the plate. Hit on the ground to the right side. The throw is wild and it gets away. 
For the offense, that's basically as good as a leadoff double. You've got a man in scoring position. Great chance to put something on the board right now. So we'll see how they approach it. On the mound, he's feeling some early pressure that he's got to try to work through. Runner at second after the error. And stepping in is the speedy Brandon Marsh. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Next pitch is outside. Nice job to keep the hands back on that one. Out front just a little bit. The 2-1. Get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good six. count. Nice line Anthony drive to the full side. Bent it out Dillon. front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. One is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Rip to third. Safe at first as they can't make the play. The battle, the first baseman, Gerald Wall. So they turn to Luke Trevino. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. So after the error, it's runners at first and second. Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels. up the middle and it gets through March around third he's in there well done narrows the deficit with the RBI there really nice job staying up the middle with his approach he didn't try to do too much with the pitch just shot it through the infield first and second no outs here's the center fielder Justin Upton Foul ball there. The 0 1. Oh, and now a wild pitch. The time run at the plate. Back up the middle in a base hit. Here comes the runner. Play at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And now just a two-run deficit. It only gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. I could watch base hits like that one all day long. And so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. A change being made at first base. Here's the Angels pinch runner, Tyler Wade. Seth Brown, the next to hit. First 
first offering misses the mark. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. And the 1 0. downstairs and outside tough spot right here a couple runners on two ball count you can't nibble but you have to execute and finish your pitch you leave something out over the plate it's going to bring in some runs Walsh at second way on at first with nobody out Backed up. This is what stat nerds like myself yeah. might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, they're not sure what the numbers say, but clearly in a bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. You say you win. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Runners in first and second. Next one just misses. Get a count, one and two. And the right hater deals. Got it! Two long. Max Stassi, the next to hit for the Angels. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And it's fouled away. Yo one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Swings through that one out front that time. Just one out away, trying to close it out. A foul ball, he stays alive. Down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. And that's the ball game. Well, the four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the world. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. A 7-5 final score in this one. Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.